Hello and a very good day everyone. So today we will learn on automating monthly reports. So now if just say I'm an accountant and on monthly basis I need to check the variance between the budget allocated and also the actual amount. So if you look in this data over here we do have a variance report as of January 2023 where we have the dates, we have the departments, expenses, budget allocated year to date and also actual amount. So as an accountant, what I need to do is I really need to do the analysis for the variance of budget and actual. So I just press Ctrl A and then I go to insert, I go to pivot table and then I press OK. So now in this particular pivot table, what normally I will do is if just say I'll just put the date at the row. So now we do have the date over here and then I'll just put the department at the filter. So normally I'm checking on sales and marketing department. So I'll just choose sales and marketing department. So we have a with over here and then I'll just put the apex category at the row. So now we have this and then I'll just tick the budget year to date and actual amount. So now if you look over here, this is what I will do on monthly basis. And then just say what I need to do is I need to check the variance. So what I do is equal B5 minus c5 and then what i do is i'll drag it on down and then i go over here equal this answer over here divided by b5 so this is the percentage so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag it down so based on this data this is what i do every month manually but what if i tell you that we can use power query to automate this report that means by just clicking refresh we can automate the report every month okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all this and then let's get started. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you Power Query whereby not only we are going to import the data, we are going to do some massaging so that for the upcoming months, we can actually automate the report. So let us see how. So I'm going to go to the data. I'm going to go to get data from file Excel workbook because our source is in an Excel workbook. So that's why I click Excel workbook. Okay. So now you'll notice a box has appeared. So now let me click this case study 4 and then I'll choose variance report 001 January and I press import. So once I press import, you will notice that a big box will appear. As you can see over here, a big box will appear. So I'm going to select variance and now if you notice, this is our database. But now if you look carefully, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to press transform data. I'm going to press load. But I'm not going to click this load here. I'm going to click the arrow and I'm going to click to load to. So when I click load to, it will ask me whether I want to load as a table, pivot table, pivot chart or only create correction. So what I'm going to do is I want to load to pivot table report and I press OK. So once I press OK, so now it will load as a pivot table in this particular Excel file. And then what's the next step is the next step is like I told you, I want to put the date at the row and then I want to put the OPEX category. OK, expenses for the OPEX category. I'm going to put it over here. So we have all this information and then I want to put the department at the filter. So this one, I since I only take care of sales and department sales marketing. So I'm going to put this. So we have sales marketing data and then I just take budget allocated year to date and I also take the actual amount year to date. So now we do have this data. So what is the next step is the next step is I want to calculate the variance between this. So I go here. I just calculate field. So once I calculate field, they will ask me what field or what is the new formula that I want to click. So I want to calculate variance and then basically variance is your budget year to date minus your actual expenses year to date. So now this is the data I press add and I press OK. So now you notice it's over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all this and I press right click format cells and I'm going to put as accounting format. So I'm going to remove the decimal place, remove the symbol and this is how it looks like. So now we have the budget, we have the actual amount, we have the sum of variance. And then what next I'm going to do is I want to calculate the percentage difference. So calculate, calculate fill and then I'm going to put here percentage variance. And then over here what I'm going to do is I just want to calculate basically your variance divided by budget allocated for the full year. So now we want to see in percentage we press add and we press OK. 
so now if you notice over here but still we have zero so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press right click format cells and instead of accounting i choose percentage and press ok so now this is how the data looks like but then if just say you look over here we have sum of so i want to remove the word sum of so i press ctrl h so find sum of and then i replace all with nothing so i click this so now we have cleaned the data so now this is what i'll do monthly but what if i tell you for the next months onwards i don't have to do the pivot table again i just just change the data source and then automatically power query will automatically refresh and automate my report so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the data i go to queries and connection and then i right click over here so once i press right click i go to edit so why I go to edit because it will go to the power query editor. In the power query editor, what I'm going to do is I'll just click data source settings. And then once I click data source settings, it will a box will appear. I select this box. I change source. So just now we choose January. So now what we're going to do, we want to change the file to February. So I'm going to select February and then I press import. I press OK and then it will change to February file. So now when I press close, I press close and load. So when I press close and load, and then what's the next step is, you will notice that it has changes to 28 February and all the numbers has changed accordingly. Okay, now let us try it one more time so that we can understand the data. So right click, go to edit, and then once we go to edit, what we need to do is we go to data source settings. So in the power query under home ribbon, there is data source settings. And then what the next step is, here is February, I want to change the subsequent March, which is March. Okay, so I select this. And then after that, I choose instead of February, now I select March. I press import, I press OK, and then I close the file, and then I close and load. So once I press close and load, so now you notice the data has changed automatically so using power query we can actually automate the monthly report but here is some disclaimer the first and foremost is you must make sure you have the same headers if you have the same headers then it will be easier for you to automate the report okay and the second thing is your sheet name must be the same name same spelling and everything because if you have a different spelling then you are unable to automate the report okay so ladies and gentlemen so basically this is how you automate your monthly report without doing manually every month and you just manually key in or you update so every month i just click change the data source automatically it will be updated